low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. Go, go, go. Hello, hello everyone. Warm welcome back to the channel. Yaje here. And as always, I am super excited to be sharing another gardening video with you. Today's video is going to be about the Egusi melon plant. The Egusi melon plant. This is a melon. It is, um, it is a curcubitacy. That's from that family. And the Egusi melon plant produces the Egusi melon. And within that Egusi melon are seeds. The seeds are dehauled and then used in various recipes that are very culturally meaningful for the African people. In other words, this plant is a very important plant for many tribes across like Central and West Africa. And so we usually would get the seeds dehauled and ground all the way from Africa to use them in recipes here in the diaspora and they are usually very expensive so this year i decided to see if i could cultivate the egusi melon and actually harvest the melon and get the seeds and then use using soups a couple of months later today is august the 14th i planted the seeds in march so it's been about five months since i started the egusi from seeds and i just wanted to share with you how they are looking like as of august the 14th just one seed and that one seed has produced several melons let me show you how it looks like guys it's raining <laughs> okay so this is the igusi melon see that look see how huge it is guys and i have at least 15 of them from that one single seed it is crawling all over the place the igusi melon is a vine let me show you so the goosey melon is a vine. This is a vine. It's basically crawling all over the place. It produces flowers like this. You know, it produces the flowers. The flowers get pollinated by bees. It's insect pollinated. And then it produces melons and then the melons grow as big as the one that I just showed you. I'll show you a baby melon. So guys, you see, this is a baby goosey melon, this one see these are the flowers the melons they are basically all over the place in this garden at least 15 of them from that one single seed okay so the melons are going to grow big and then they will be ready for harvest when they basically just fall off the vine as i have heard the, the vine is going to turn like brown and then i will harvest that the melon at that point the melon themselves are not edible the flesh within the melon they are not edible like watermelons but the seeds are what is used to you know cook various dishes with let me go show you my egusi melon plant guys this is the egusi melon growing on the grass over here i've tried to redirect it and it keeps just growing so i have a few of the melons hiding in here I have heard that snakes also like the egusi melon plant they can hide under so I'm kind of scared but we're gonna we're gonna just look hold on Jesus really a thick bush let's see okay I think I found see that that is one that's it another one right down there so there's two I'm sure there's more it's just hiding under the grass okay. okay that is two this is another one right here so three here's another one right here in the grass that's four that same patch of grass here is another baby one right here right here this one that's five 
that's another one over there six here's another one here seven and I've not even looked everywhere so seven over here <laughs> the melon plants are hiding everywhere here let's see if I move this out of the way we can see the other melon see that that's another one so that's seven keep looking it's everywhere here's another one that's eight now let's go look on the other side that's a baby one here nine we're looking for the melons that's ten that's another one right here eleven okay see how it's crawling everywhere like I said I'm afraid of the snakes 11 this is 12 13 this one here 14 14 and that's another one here Right here 15 16 that's another one here 17 and then let's look over here 18 19 so that's at least 19 that I can count I think there's more 19 oh this 2 20 and that's a big one there 21 21 and counting so guys, I just counted 21 of the melons, the goosey melons from that one single seed, 21 and counting because it keeps growing and it keeps producing flowers and producing that melon plant. So according to what I have researched, um, the goosey melon takes about four months to six months to grow and mature here in the outside of Africa, in the USA where the climate is not like a tropical climate so just something to keep in mind but yes you can absolutely grow your egusi i will keep you posted on how the egusi does you know when it matures when i harvest it and we are going to look at the seeds and all of that and even cook some things using the egusi melon seeds so yeah guys you can absolutely grow the egusi melon in the usa if you're interested in getting some seeds check the link to buy the Igusi melon seeds in the description box below. I got my seeds from True Love Seeds and they really do germinate. They have a very high germination rate. My seeds germinated in about three days, I want to say. And because it was very cold at the time, I started the seeds indoors. It was very cold, so not all of them survived. Just one survived, which I transplanted into the garden. I transplanted that one to the garden. And then it has now taken over the garden and has produced over 21 of the gods and counting. I will be very interested to know if you do try growing this Egusi melon. See how it does. So go ahead and purchase the seeds. Try them in your garden. Keep in mind, it can take four to six months. So depending on where you are, um, keep that in mind. You know, factor in winter and all of that. It will not do well in the winter. So you want to grow it really early on in the season so that you give it a chance to grow produce a fruit and mature before winter gets here thank you so much for watching if this video added value to you please do not go without giving the video a thumbs up subscribe and also share until next time guys bye bye